Alright uh, guys, just a video showing uh, this uh, new pol uh, version 8 software showing uh, what you can do with the new Polaris 7 browser. Uh, let's see, it's, just, it's a lot quicker than uh, the old one. <clears throat> My favorite part is the keyboard, which is a lot more accurate by far. I'll show you in a second. I'm just on uh, yahoo.com here, and as you can see, it scrolls a lot smoother. A lot easier to use. I'll just show you the keyboard here. As you can see it zooms in and you get a uh, vertical QWERTY keyboard just like a, an iPhone. And it's pretty accurate too. Let me see. As you can see, it's kind of out of focus. Um, you can also turn it sideways. And you get a uh, the same deal. Um, real accurate, like I said. I'll zoom out. Another thing that's neat is, uh, if say you want to open a link in a new tab, you can uh, just hold down over the link, and it'll give you the option right here. One second, find a better one. Right there. Um, let's see what else can you do? If you type text in, it's a lot easier to actually go back and view the text. One second. There we go. Kind of like an iPod, you just hold it down and you can actually go back and view it, select it. Uh, let's see what else is new. <clears throat> like I said, it's a lot quicker, a lot smoother. Um, the settings are a lot easier to use, I think, as far as like setting like a home page. It's all right here. A lot of websites work too that didn't before, like the Facebook Touch website. Uh, on the Facebook Lite website, you can use the chat, which you couldn't do before. I think that's pretty much it. Can't really think of uh, anything else off the top of my head, but it, definitely a lot better. Um, if you guys want to learn more, just go to nvtouch.org and just kind of look at the threads there. We've been figuring it out. Uh, yeah, just let me know if you guys have any questions.